Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to make a granola. It is dehydrated, it's sprouted and dehydrated and you don't need a dehydrator, you can do it in your own oven. What's really good about this is that the kids love it. So I serve this in the morning and they're quite happy about it. So it is a complete win-win because it's really healthy. It takes a little bit of time because you need to dehydrate it. So, but you don't have to be in the kitchen, you have, don't have to do much. You just soak it and then you dehydrate it, you mix it up and boom, it's all done. This is what you need. Buckwheat. I'm using already sprouted flax seeds, so I don't need to sprout that, so I can put that aside. Um, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, maple syrup, but you could use honey as well. Um, a little bit of salt, turmeric, cinnamon, a vanilla pod or a teaspoon of vanilla. Uh, this is not completely necessary, but it gives it a nice taste, I think. But if you can't find it, no worries. And also dried fruit. You can use whatever dried fruit you want. I'm using today a bit of blueberries, apricots and uh, dried mango. All in all, it should be around a cup of dried fruit. Some freeze dried cherries. This is also not necessary, but it's good and it will entice the kids to eat it. And it looks so pretty when you blend it as well. I'm using half a bag of that. The seeds and the buckwheat have soaked overnight. Now I'm going to rinse this. So now I'm just going to leave this to sprout. And then when I come home from work, I'm going to dehydrate it. So I'm just covering it with a clean tea towel. So now it's time to dehydrate our sprouted granola grains and seeds and we're going to smother the sprouted granola in lovely flavors and then dehydrate it in the oven so in a big bowl just put all the flavorings and about four tablespoons of maple syrup one and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt as well this is Himalayan crystal salt. I normally also add one teaspoon of that sort of black vanilla powder, but because of the vanilla shortage, it's really hard to get hold of. I can't find it anywhere. So I did find these, the, the proper pods. So if you get hold of vanilla, just stock up. I'm just scraping out everything from in here. So I'm going to use a whole pod for this. It's good to use a big bowl because we're going to add the sprouted seeds and buckwheat into this. Smells divine. Now you just add all the sprouted granola into this. Just mix it up really well. You, you almost need two of these pans, so spread it out. Now we're going to put this in the oven really low temperature the lower the better have the door a little bit open and you're going to leave it for about sort of eight hours but check now and then and then just move it about a bit so everything gets dehydrated sometimes it takes longer about 10 hours so just put it in the oven on, on a really low temperature like less than 50 and then I put this thing here as a stopper but the oven door should be a little bit open so the moisture can disappear eight hours later and it's done it is dry because it needs to be dry no moisture in there so we can keep it for a long time your dehydrated stuff in the mixing bowl Half a cup of the sprouted flax seeds. They are sprouted already, otherwise, just sprouted with the other stuff in the oven. And I'm using blueberries and apricots, and I'm just cutting them up with a scissor because that's easy. Instead of cutting with a knife, this is much easier and dried mango. Just cut it up in small pieces. Oops, ding dong. 
and the freeze dried cherries also goes in. Add all the dried fruit. Put it all in in an airtight jar. Okay, I'm done. It's really good if you let it soak for a little while. Just put a nice milk in there, whatever milk you prefer. I super love this granola. Not that I get to eat a lot of it because the kids have it all the time, but uh, it is really tasty and I'm so happy they have it in the mornings because then I know they at least had something good in the morning. So I hope you like this video and that you will come back next time. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.